the sun. It's the greatest source of energy on our planet and is now becoming the fastest growing industry. Here, India is leading this growth and is one of the biggest solar markets in the world. In this video, we'll be discussing seven ways to start a business in the solar industry and how the residential solar supply chain works. So without further ado, let's get started with the first business in this chain. Becoming a solar manufacturer today in India is not an easy task since you'll be competing directly with established Indian and Chinese manufacturers that are already selling low-priced and reliable products in the Indian market. However, if you still want to start a small-scale solar manufacturing plant, here's what you'll need to know. Firstly, decide on a great location, factory size, hire skilled workers and staff to get all the necessary legal registration, certificates and licenses out of the way. Now, you need to decide between two kinds of solar panels, a polycrystalline and a monocrystalline. To manufacture these panels, you'll need to procure a few raw materials like the solar cell, solar glass, module frames, junction boxes, and to put them all together, you'll need to order specially designed machines that can assemble these panels for you. The list of basic machinery that you require to assemble a solar panel starts with an EVA backsheet cutting station, solar cell soldering station, an automatic solar PV module laminator, a few testers, framing stations, glass washing machines, and a couple more. To set up a small scale production unit of 5 megawatt to 10 megawatt yearly capacity, the initial investment can be as low as 90 lakh rupees and can go upwards of a few hundred crores depending on the machinery and size of operation. If you're interested to study more about solar manufacturing process and such companies, I've left a link of a complete business plan on how to set up a solar PV manufacturing unit in the description, with a few other links of raw material and machine providers. Once you've finally set up your factory and you're successfully producing top quality solar panels, your next step is to create a supply chain, and thus find distributors through whom you can sell your solar panels. This brings us to the next business opportunity. Being a solar distributor means you'll be purchasing solar products from manufacturers and selling them to retailers or dealers in your local markets. Becoming a solar distributor is fairly an easier process if you're in the right market. So the first step is an in-depth analysis of the supply and demand for solar products in your local and regional market. The next step is choosing from a variety of manufacturers. You can import your panels from international brands like Trina Solar, Jinko Solar and REC or stock up from Indian brands like Vikram Solar, Vari and Adani based on customer preference, quality, warranty, special offers and shipping costs. After finalizing which manufacturer you want to sign distribution agreements with, you can simply sign up online as most manufacturers have an online portal for registration and their team usually gets in touch with you within 24 hours. But before you can fill up the form, you're required to be a registered business and have some kind of warehousing facility for storage. So do make sure you have all the required certifications and licenses before you proceed. Some companies will require you to make a minimum initial purchase. So with an average first order purchase of 10 lakh rupees and additional costs, it's fairly viable to start a distribution company with a capital of 20 lakh rupees and then you can sign your first distribution agreement. But the only way you can really succeed in this business is if you understand the market demand and choose the right manufacturer. And if you're able to sell the brand to your market retailers who are generally known as EPCs. Before we talk about solar retailers, let's take a look at independent solar consultants. An independent solar consultant is a company that can advise customers on the different options available to them by giving them a detailed feasibility analysis like solar production estimate and provide recommendations. The benefit of an independent solar consultant is that they aren't tied to a single solar installation company or brand. Therefore, hiring an ISC is the only way to ensure the information is objective, transparent and complete. To start an independent solar consultancy firm, there isn't a lot of investment. Surely you need to have an in-depth knowledge of the solar industry and how to conduct a detailed feasibility analysis. However, you'll still need to invest in hiring staff and spend on basic promotions. That should set you anywhere between 30,000 to 3 lakh rupees, depending on how you're spending your capital. After landing your first customer and conducting a site survey, the customer will then approach a solar retailer or an EPC to get them started. Solar EPC, which stands for Engineering, Procurement and Construction, does 
just that. They provide engineering services to their customers, procure their goods from solar distributors in the local market, and finally construct the complete power plant. To start a solar EPC company, you can register yourself as any regular engineering company and find a small scale project in your local market to kickstart your business. As a solar EPC, you'll be expected to conduct a site survey, examine load data, conduct a weather surveillance, design your solar project with software solutions like PVSYST, procure your raw materials like panels, cables and inverters, construct the solar power plant itself according to the design, and the final step would be to ensure you complete all legal requirements for registration of the plant and get all the documentation. While starting a solar EPC, your initial expenses would include hiring skilled technicians, designers and engineers. You may also need to rent out an office space and spend a bit to promote your services. All of these activities would require a minimum capital of 2 lakh rupees. Getting a client in the beginning might be difficult to achieve as not many are aware of the benefits of solar energy or they aren't willing to spend money on solar products due to various financial constraints. This is why you can tie up with solar financing companies to give your customers some financial aid. That brings us to the next business opportunity in the field of solar energy. A solar financing company can help potential customers that aren't able to or willing to pay the full upfront costs of their plant. Solar financing companies offer help in the form of loans, leases or PPAs. This way, more people are able to afford solar panels and generate their own electricity. To start a solar financing company, you can simply tie up with any existing EPCs in the market and offer their customers your services. You do need to ensure that you're well aware of the financial rebates and subsidies offered by the government and study them to improve your offering. The initial investment in starting a solar financing company usually depends on you. If you're willing to start small, you can invest in 3 to 5 small projects that could cost you an estimated of 10 lakh rupees, which would include the project execution, legal fees, and any staff salaries. But you can invest as much as you want, as returns on investment solar are very safe and stable. Check out the link in the description to understand different kinds of financial aids you can offer. After you've provided sufficient financial aid to a customer and they're able to install a solar power plant, the customer can now expect to sign an operation and maintenance contract, which brings us to the next business opportunity. A well-maintained solar plant can actually perform 10-30% to better than one that is not. A solar o company is responsible to oversee the maintenance and repairs. Which means after the solar plant is deployed, you will sign a contract with the customer to monitor and conduct regular site checks and ensure other components are working fine. This may also include any repairs when necessary. Essentially, your job is to ensure problem detection, minimize downtime and provide detailed analytics. To start a solar O&M company, you can either tie up with an existing EPC or become an independent solar O&M firm. You can also take up freelance projects from EPCs who are always on the lookout for people who can conduct regular checks on their clients. This means you'll have to ensure that you can effectively gather data like generation and consumption, analyze that data for monthly reports, hire a skilled workforce, and keep an inventory of a few tools required for panel repairs and transportation facilities so your workforce can reach the site as quickly as possible. You can expect an initial investment of at least 4 to 5 lakh rupees to stock up on equipment, staff, and warehousing. The benefit of starting a solar OM company is that you're signing the customer for a long term period, usually about 25 years. Thus, it's a very viable and sustainable business. These were six business opportunities that fit in the solar PV supply chain. The seventh business opportunity doesn't directly cater to the solar retail market, but still as important and is an incredibly profitable business. Solar training institutes are one of the few business models that are the easiest to scale up due to the lack of such training centers in India. A solar training institute can provide multiple training courses in various fields of engineering, business development and software design. You will be responsible for training individuals entering the field as professionals or entrepreneurs. To start a solar training institute, you don't need to register your business in the initial years. However, if you want to give out certificates of the course, which is highly recommended, you'll need to affiliate your training course with initiatives like Skill Council for Green Jobs to get some recognition and thus registration may become necessary. 
hire a few tutors and a management team, rent out a small campus and get a few types of equipment for training like design softwares, dummy solar panels and you can also provide field visits to solar parks for practical training. With these facilities, your minimum investment would be approximately 4 to 5 lakh rupees. And if you can provide the right services, the return on investment would be faster than you think. These were some of the biggest business opportunities in the solar industry today. However, the list is even longer considering other solar products like inverters, mounting structures, thermal systems, etc. that have an entire market space of their own. You can find all the links in the description for more information about each of these businesses. Before I end this video, here's a bonus tip. If you're really interested in starting a solar business or are already running one, you'll need to hire great employees who are as passionate about solar energy as you are. Sign up on RioJob.com today and post a job opening and freelance contracts for absolutely free and have the best talent apply to you directly. I hope you learned something interesting today and I'll see you in the next episode of the Spark Sketch.